Yeah, we rolling. Oh shit. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Ready to go. Nah, I was trying to get on the for you to tell the story of you know like because we trying to paint the picture of you know like where Joe came from you know because Job is really a different character I always say in, in the Bible like they never knew how Job got what he what he got you know to get to where he was but anyway but it's like you know where it came from and I told everybody you know nobody really know they always ask you know when I start doing music why did I start doing music and you know where it came from so you seen it from a different uh, third person view so you know and this is not not to cut you in but <clears throat> this is uh the person that introduced you to the music right the person that introduced me to the studio in in anything about creating music period the thought of even being able to create like we always listen to we it, always but, listen to music always did you like how did y'all how did y'all relationship <laughs> even like like you, we you look older Family, okay. You know what I'm, saying? I'm the oldest cousin, but you know we all. Um, it's just a four of us, a four man team. We all used to get get it together, and um, then went from that to uh, this music. And I, I have. We were going to college, and bro came down to bro came down to live with us, and one thing led to another. We ended up meeting. Um, we ended up meeting a cat that was from, that was signed, he was signed to Kedar Entertainment. And he had a studio and he was working with, um, he was the top VJ in Dayton. And he brought us down to the studio. And I was trying to get a deal myself with the R&B thing. And I was telling him like, bro, come on and get down. And he like, nah, nah, man, I'm good, I'm good, I'm doing this. Cause we was making pretty good money. We was making great money for the age that we was, 21, 22. I was 24, so I know they was probably like 21, 22, and they, we was making great money, so I get it. Finally, he, he gave in and came to the studio with me one night. And you know, it was fresh for me. It was fresh straight off the uh, block. This dude comes to the studio with a four or five and one in one hit got a holster with two nines and my people I'm coming to introduce him and my people got all shook like who the fuck is this like so he he got his little thing together and my dude was trying to overcharge him and I didn't like that so then he ended up going in there like he ended up um, staying with dude and he was doing that he was doing the little things like when I would be in the studio uh, laying stuff down he would be sitting there with dude going over to engineer learning how to learning that stuff and then he would go home and he started he turned this he turned a little trap the, our first trap house he turned into a studio it was a one bedroom apartment this is where we trapped at he turned the, he turned the, his bedroom into a studio and slept out on the couch so like and, like how, how old was you at that time you said i was 24 so they was probably like um because i'm three years older than him 24 at 24 so okay. he was like 21. at 21 pc like like what was you thinking like okay like i'm gonna turn my room into a studio like a like a hustle like was you thinking business or like like what's your mindset at that age to be thinking like that really the first time we went it wasn't even I wasn't even thinking about it all like that. I just was like going and saying, you know, instead of spending my money on like Xboxes, Xboxes and all those games and movies and sitting in the trap doing that, it was like, man, why don't I spend my money on, on something else that I could just have fun with doing? So that was my first, my first thought about it. Like I'm gonna spend my money on something, I'm gonna spend it on something that might can do something. I didn't think it was gonna be anything else after that. I really wanted to rap. That's what I wanted to do. So I really be salty at people that be spitting and shit. That's <laughs> but you know I couldn't do it. Yeah. And, you know, I it took it took for me to figure out, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. So that was what it was next. Is figuring it out. So did you always like like you was behind the scenes a lot, you know what I mean? Producing, mixing, match. I mean you was the a monster behind the scenes. Like was you always secretly rapping? We like, got it. We got it. Uh, yeah, I was. I was though. Like you know, that's 
really, that's how I became uh, good at engineering. Ultimately, I, that's how I got good at engineering and producing was because I kept recording over and over and play, play, stop, play, stop, play, stop, you know, and trying to mix and get this shit to sound right.